Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of our Sunday series. In today's video, we shall be discussing about some of the species that have been in news lately. So let's begin with our today's discussion with the very first species as red-eared slider turtle. Recently, this particular species was seen in the public water bodies of Kerala and it has become a cause for concern. Why? Because this particular species is considered to be an invasive species. So the red-eared slider is a freshwater turtle and it has a distinctive red strip behind each ear. As you can see over here, a distinctive red strip behind each ear. Now this particular species is native to southeastern USA and Mexico. But these have also found way across the globe including India because these are considered to be exotic animals and hence these are traded. If we talk about the scientific name, it is known as Trachemis scripta elegans. So these type of turtles are considered a major threat to the native turtle species because they mature fast, also they grow larger and produce more offsprings and particularly they are very very aggressive. So they can outcompete native turtles for food, nestling and basking sites that is for habitat. Further on, studies have also shown that they can also transfer diseases and parasites to the native reptile species. And as we have already discussed, this is considered to be one of the world's worst invasive species. Now, if we talk about its conservation status, first of all, it is not mentioned in sites, that is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. And secondly, if we talk about the IUCN status, the IUCN releases world's 100 most invasive species. And this particular, the red-eared slider turtle is included in this list. Now let us discuss the different types of turtles. There are seven species of sea turtles, which include the green sea turtle, the hawksbill sea turtle, the loggerhead sea turtle, the very famous olive ridley sea turtle, Kemp's ridley sea turtle, leatherback and the last one flatback sea turtle. Out of these, five of these species are also found in Indian waters, that is the leatherback, loggerhead, hawksbill, green and olive ridley sea turtles. Moreover, the hawksbill sea turtle is listed as critically endangered and the green turtle is particularly listed as endangered in the IUCN red list. So this was a little bit about the red-eared slider turtle. Let's move on to our next species and that is the emperor penguin. Now recently it was seen in news as there was a study which showed that no evidence of microplastics was found in emperor penguins. Now why is this study was important? Because it is an assessment of the environmental pollution at the South Pole. As we know that emperor penguin is endemic to the Antarctica region. So let us talk a bit more about it. Emperor penguin is the largest member of the penguin order Sphenisiforms, meaning it includes medium to large flightless seabirds and they have streamlined bodies which is specifically adapted for swimming and diving underwater. It is also the tallest and the heaviest of all the living penguin species. And as we have discussed, this is endemic to Antarctica. Its IUCN status is near threatened. Now, this particular is the emperor penguin. So, let us talk about penguins. First of all, they are a group of aquatic flightless birds. We also have the World Penguin Day, which is observed every year on the 25th of April. Now, as we know, penguins live primarily in the southern hemisphere. But there is one species that is found in the north of equator. And this is known as the Galapagos penguin. So I'll leave you with one question. Which country does the Galapagos Islands belong? And also why it is famous? You can write your answers in the comment section below. Now further on, penguins employ physiological adaptations and also their cooperative behaviors in order to deal with very, very harsh environment as they live in very cold temperatures. Moreover, penguins are divided into six genera. So the penguin species include genus crested group, which are known as eudites. We have the banded group, the brush-tailed group. We have the large group, which are known as aptenodites. And the emperor or the king penguins belong to this particular group. Then we have the yellow-eyed. And lastly, we have the genus little, wherein the little or fairy penguin species belong. So this was a little bit about emperor penguin. Now let us move on to our next species and that is cheetah. As we know recently, eight cheetahs were introduced in the Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh. They were flown all the way from Namibia's capital, Windhek. So let's talk about cheetahs. Now, we know that cheetah is the fastest terrestrial animal on earth and it is the only large carnivore that got completely wiped out from India. The reason was overhunting and habitat loss. So, let's see a bit of the history. 
India's last spotted cheetah died in the Sal forest of Chhattisgarh, Koria district in the year 1948 and further on in the year 1952 it was declared extinct. Now here Maharaja Ramanuj Pratap Singh who was the ruler of a small princely state in today's Chhattisgarh shot the India's last three surviving cheetahs. We have Project Cheetah which is the world's first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project. Now let us talk about some of the key facts about cheetah. It is known as one of the oldest big cat species with ancestors that can be tracked back more than 5 million years ago to the Miocene era. So the Miocene era which extends from around 23 to 5.3 million years ago. Also cheetah is the world's fastest land mammal that lives in Africa and Asia. So as you can see here we have the African cheetah. The scientific name is Asinonyx jubatus jubatus. The habitat is African savannas. Moreover, they are bigger in size as compared to the Asiatic cheetah. If we talk about the conservation status, first of all, the IUCN status is vulnerable and it is included in Appendix One of the sites. Now, for the Asiatic cheetah, it is smaller and paler than the African cheetah. The IUCN status is critically endangered, and in India, it was declared extinct in the year 1952. And as of now, there are only 40 to 50 Asiatic cheetah, which are found only in Iran. So this was a little bit about cheetahs now let us move on to our next species and that is the bannerman's turaco recently this bird the bannerman's turaco was seen in news as it came under serious threat at the kilamjim mountain forest of cameroon's northwest region now cameroon is a country in the west central africa so the bannerman's turaco is a species of the bird in the family musophagidae So under Musophagidae there are around 23 species of birds and Turaco is one of them as you can see so these birds have short rounded wings and they are not very good at flight also they have long tails and plump bodies and most importantly it comes in variety of colors further on it is endemic to Cameroon and therefore it is also culturally very important in this region moreover its scientific and common names honor the ornithologist David Armit K Bannerman If we talk about the conservation status the IUCN has listed it as endangered species and one of the major threats include the habitat destruction due to clearing of forest for agricultural land so this was a little bit about bannerman turaco let's move on to our next species and that is fishing cats so recently there was a census done by the chilika development authority in collaboration with the fishing cat project which found that Chilika Lake which is the Asia's largest brackish water lagoon has 176 fishing cats. So this is our species the fishing cats let us know a bit more about it. The scientific name is Prinealeris viverinus and the fishing cats are almost twice the size of a house cat. It is an adept swimmer and it enters water frequently and it preys on fishes as the name already suggest fishing cat. Moreover it is nocturnal that is active in night and apart from fish it also preys on the frogs. crustaceans which are invertebrate animals snakes birds and also the carcasses of larger animals now if we talk about its habitat they occur in wetlands for example the marshlands the mangroves and the flooded forest in major south and southeast asian river basins starting from indus in pakistan till mekong river in vietnam and also in the island nations of sri lanka and java particularly when we talk about india these are mainly found in the mangrove forest of the sundarbans and also on the foothills of himalayas along the ganga and the brahmaputra river valleys and also in the western ghats the major threats to fishing cats involve the destruction of wetlands and also the depletion of its main prey fish due to unsustainable fishing practices and lastly the poaching for skin If we talk about the conservation status in the IUCN red list it is listed as endangered in the sites it is under appendix 2 and schedule 1 under the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 Now let us talk a bit about the Chilika Lake first of all as we know it is a brackish water lagoon and it is spread over the Puri Khurda and Ganjam district of Odisha located at the mouth of Daya river it flows into the bay of Bengal and the total area it covers is over 1100 km squares An important fact is that it is the largest coastal lagoon in India and also the largest brackish water lagoon in the world after the New Caledonian Barrier Reef. Further on it has been listed as the Ramsar site. In fact Chilika Lake in Odisha and the Keoladeo National Park in Rajasthan were recognized as the first Ramsar sites in India. and also it is a tentative UNESCO World Heritage site. So with this I'll leave you with the second question. 
Which state in India has the largest number of Ramsar sites? You can leave your answers in the comment section below. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Species in News. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other video tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned. Yeah.